Hello. Hello. Hello, Weefu. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, how was your day today? It's okay. Uh, what did you do today? It's okay. Mm, and what did you do today? Learn English. Mm, you learn English just by yourself? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's great. All right. And what did you eat for dinner tonight? I I eat um, I eat I eat meat. Meat. <laughs> Did you play with V2 this afternoon? Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. So, um, we um, last week, last Thursday, I gave you a homework, okay, about the lesson that we had or about the story that we had last time. Did you do it? Oh. Yeah, I did it. Okay, so uh, last Thursday we learned or we listened to the story, The Red Rubber Ball. Okay, so I ask you to look at, okay, where is that? Where is that game come from? All right, so let's start off with this one in Daga. Where does Daga game come from? Play. Okay. I don't know. Okay, it's okay. So, the Daga game that was first originated in Ghana. In Ghana. Oh. The country Ghana. Okay, so that's where Daga. Okay. Okay, as you can see, they are playing Daga. It means that... Um, they will form a circle, okay, and there will be, um, there will be a, um, person inside that circle, and then they will play tag, okay. So those who, who um, first be tag, that will be the daga, okay. So just imagine this one daga as what I have told you, for example here, okay. So they're they're playing here okay here's the daga in here so this is the daga so the daga will try to catch or try to tap okay any of the people in the circle and those who can and those who will be tagged first will be the daga okay in the in the circle again okay so that's a game daga okay 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 all right there you go next okay so after that one the ball the red rubber ball went to this one omok okay now where does the game omok come from Omok. Omok. 
Korea. Mm, Korea. Mm, yes, that's um um in Korea and also in China. Okay. And as you can see, look at this one. As you can see, we ha they have two, um, two dot. I mean, two. What do you call this one? Dots, like black and white dots. So, an omuk is somehow like a board game. Okay, it is a board game. Okay, look at this one. Um, we. Okay, look at this one here. So this is, it looks like this here. Okay. So it's a board game. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to play this one, but it's a board game. Mm -hmm. okay. You can play that one with a pair, with a partner, because it's a board game. Okay, and there's two um, colors of dots. We have black and white. So that's a mock. And look at look at here, Vivo. Okay, here. Okay, that is what they're playing. They're playing a mock. Okay, look at this one. Um, Yo tries to line up five of his stones to win. So for you to win, you need to line five, okay? Five stones to win. Okay? That is how you will play umok. <laughs> so the red rubber ball, okay? Went to this one. So meaning, let us first, so this is in Ghana. Okay, that's why the red rubber ball travel travels around the world. This is Korea. And next, we have the next one playing La Tun Kuna. Oh, what's that? La Tun Kuna. Where does that um, game come from? La Tun Kuna. Sorry. Hmm? It's from Bolivia. It's from Bolivia. Wait for a minute. Okay. Bolivia? You mean Bolivia? Yeah. All right, so there you go. So, okay, so that's from Bolivia. Let's write it here, Bolivia. All right. So that Latuna, okay, is from Bolivia. Okay, as you can see, Mama writes names in the boxes and for each day of the week, okay, must... Matthias tosses a stone and Maria jumps over it. Oh yeah, look at this one. Do you know how to is this is there something like this game? Like I know that when you for example you will draw a house and then we have that one here in our country, like but it's not lakuntuna, latunkuna. It's different. It you will play this one like this. You will draw a you will draw um or okay. you will draw a boxes just like this one, and then you will throw a stone. And if your stone will will be put in here, for example, look. So you will stay here. You will get you will you will just use your one foot to get the stone. Look at them. Okay. Okay, that's how you play that game. I used to play this kind of game when I was a little kid. All right, so that's from Bolivia. All right, so there you go. 
Now, so the red rubber ball. So the red rubber ball of, what's his name again? Red rubber is Carlos. Okay, Carlos. So the red, the red rubber ball of Carlos travel all around the world from what country? From? From Antuco Mountain. Mm -hmm. From Antuco Mountain up to like all over the world. What country? It's both it's Ghana, okay. Korea, and Bolivia. Okay, very good. So imagine, can you imagine that we do? When you kick a ball from Vietnam and your ball will come here in the Philippines. Can you imagine? Would that be true? <laughs> Would that be true? <laughs> Will you, if you were going to kick a ball from there, from Vietnam, do you think it will come here in the Philippines? I think it's in the ocean. In the ocean. <laughs> oh, okay. So thank you so much for that. All right. So again, um, the reason why we're reading this one is because we are looking for the main idea. Okay, so again, what is the main idea we um weave? It's the idea from the story. Okay, the idea from the story or what the story is about. Okay. It's about it's about the boy named Carlos pick the ball. Okay. All right, there you go. So we have it here now. I want you to look at what's the main idea of this paragraph? It's it, the family's family is playing large. Okay, two, very two good. Months. Okay, yeah. that's correct. So that's the Fernandez family is playing La Tuncuna. Okay, so that's the main idea of the paragraph. All right, so very good. Thank you so much for that, Vivo. So that's it for the main idea. Okay, do you have any questions or clarifications about main idea? No, all right, so now let us continue with your next lesson. Wait okay. for a minute. Okay, here. So before we answer this one, let us first answer the question. Which game would you like to play and why? From the story, The Red Rubber Ball. Which game would you like to play and why? I like to play football. You like to play football? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's fun. Because it's fun? You want to kick the ball and the ball will travel around the world as well? <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for that. All right, there you go. Now let's try to look at this one. Here, match each game rule to a game. Oh, so number one, that's Umok, that's already answered. So each player tries to line up five stones. Okay, I want you to match number two and three to the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. 
All right, okay. there you go. Okay, so we have it there. Um, each player tries to line up five stones, so that's a mock. Number two, can you please read? Wait. One player has to jump over the stone. La Tintuna. Okay, very good. That's La Tintuna. And number three. The player in the middle is the snake. Daga. Okay, very good. Okay, that's correct. Very good. All right, so great job. Okay, so that's the game. Okay, in the story, the red rubber ball. Okay, next. What is the main idea of the red rubber ball? Okay, I want you to put. Uh, <laughs> it's it it's answered already. <laughs> so the main idea of the story, the red rubber ball, is kids all over the world like to play games. Okay, because as you can see in the story. All the all the kids there are playing games. Okay, so the main idea is kids all over the world like to play games. Do you like to play games? Yes, I like to play games. Okay, very good. So that's it. So kids all over the world, not just in the places that's mentioned in the story, um, like to play games. All right, there you go. Okay, next. Okay, here, words in context. Write the correct answer. Number one is already done. A boa constrictor is a snake. Okay, a boa constrictor is a snake. Please answer. You write your answer, Rivo. Okay. okay, there you go. Okay, so now we have it here. A boa constrictor is a snake. Okay, number two, can you please read? It's after you jump up, you must land on the ground. Okay, number two, number two first. Number two. Uh, when you toss a ball, you hold it. <coughs> mm -hmm. When you toss? The ball, you hold it. You throw it. Because you toss means you will do like that. You will throw it, not hold it. You toss it. Oh. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Okay, so you will, you will throw it. Okay, number three, please read. Okay. After, when you keep the ball, after you jump up, you will land on the ground. Okay, that's correct. 
So after you jump up, you must land on the ground. Okay, you will not land on the water, of course, or you will not land on the ball as well. You will land on the ground. <laughs> Except if you will jump in the ocean. It's expected that you will land on the water. Okay. <laughs> okay, number four. Please read and answer. Okay. When you keep your balance, you easily stand straight. Okay, so when you keep your balance, you usually... Okay, that's correct. You usually stand straight. That's correct, Vivo. Okay, so balance means equal. So you will not fall down or you will not lie down because you keep your balance. It means you stand straight. Okay. All right, now let's continue. Okay, now let's continue to this one. Grammar in use. Okay, I want you to listen to this one first. And then we will discuss about gerunds. Page 21. Okay. Grammar in use. D. Listen and sing along. Having fun. We like to run, we like to jump. Running and jumping are lots of fun. Do you like to bounce a ball? Sure! Bouncing a ball is lots of fun. Do you like to kick the ball? Yes! Kicking it high in the sky is fun. And when there's music, we dance and dance. Dancing to music is definitely fun. We like to run, we like to jump Running and jumping are lots of fun Do you like to bounce a ball? Sure! Bouncing a ball is lots of fun Do you like to kick the ball? Yes! Kicking it high in the sky is fun And when there's music, we dance and dance Dancing to music is definitely fun go so dancing jumping we have it here look at this one we let me just zoom it in oh, wait for a minute okay oopsie there so we have it here look we have the word running jumping bouncing bouncing Dancing, kicking. kicking, and dancing. dancing. All right, so we have it there. Okay, so we have it here. So these are the words that ends in I and G. Okay, these are the words that ends in I and G. And what is that in grammar? Okay, so it's gerunds. We will learn tonight about gerunds. Okay, look at this one. When you add ing to a verb, okay, look at this one. We have run, um, bounce, kick, and dance. This, these are verbs. These are all action words. Okay. Again, when we say verb, okay, I will, it's action words. But if you will add ing to the, to the action, to the, to a verb, it will now act as a noun. Okay, it will now act as a noun. And that one is called a gerund. 
Okay, that is now a gerund. You will not say it's a noun, but rather it's a gerund. Okay? All right, let's look at the example, um, Weevu. We have the verb skip. Okay, so this is an action word, skip and land. So it's an action word. Now, it will now become a noun if you will add ing. We have skipping, landing. Ashanti's friends like skipping. Maria likes landing on one foot. Okay, we now call this one as a... What do we call that one now? A? Huh? It's a... Infinity. In, oh, not, not infinitives. Can you that one. Okay, okay so Jared. okay, a gerund. Okay, so it's a gerund now. All right, so for you to know more about gerund, let me let me um, wait for a minute. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. Again, when we say verb vivo, that's an action word. Okay. Okay. So here I want you to look at when we say gerund. Look at this one. Here. Gerund is a noun ending ing that has been formed from a verb. Okay, that's from a verb like this one. Think thinking. Play is a verb. If you will add ing, it will now become playing, and that is a gerund. Okay? Eat, eating, paint, and painting. Okay. Okay, so that is a gerund. Now, let us go back here. I want you to fill in the blank with a gerund. Number one is already done for you. So that's running. Claire likes to run. She thinks running is fun. Finish. All right, so there you go. So we have it there. Claire likes to run. She thinks running is fun. Number two, Je Jeff, can you please read this one? She thinks running is fun. Number two? Like to ski. He goes every year. Okay. All right, so that's skiing. Okay, very good. So it is now act as a gerund. Or the noun in the sentence. Okay, number three, please read. Rena likes to dance. Dancing is dancing to music is fun. All right, so dancing now. Okay, the Duran there now is dancing. Okay, so that's how you um identify a Duran. It's very easy. From a verb. Okay, from a verb. If you will add I and G, it will now become a gerund. Okay? It's very easy. Okay. okay, now let's try to mm -hmm. look at this one, Weevo. Make a chart like this one. Write six gerunds, then talk about your choices with me. What actions are hard work? What actions do you enjoy doing? Okay, so don't use this one because it's already done. 
So you can use your own word. Make sure it's gerunds. Okay. Okay, so I will give you five minutes to do that. Again, six gerunds. Three here and three here as well. Okay. Uh, what actions are hard okay. work? Example, cleaning, okay. running. And what actions do you enjoy doing? Examples, cooking, dancing, or what else? Okay. Okay. Um, wait. Climbing. Yeah, you will write. Okay, very good. So, is that all? Okay, so let's check. So, so this is your um, your gerunds for actions. I mean. Hard work, we have climbing, skiing, and growing plants. And then, what actions do you enjoy doing? We have swimming, running, and reading comics. Okay, so again, you can just write reading, okay? Because this is not a gerund anymore. Okay, so reading is just fine. Okay, or you can say, planting instead of growing okay instead of growing you can just use planting it means to plant okay all right so there you go Ivo. so in our next class on thursday um before we continue with your lesson i will give you more activities about gerunds Okay, so you will need to answer some questions about gerunds in our next class on Thursday. So just prepare.
prepare for it and please study about giraffes. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello. All right, so that's all for tonight, Vivo. In our next and Thursday, I will do more activities about gerunds. So please um, study and practice and learn more about gerunds. Okay? Okay. All right, okay. so do you have any questions before we say goodbye? No, I don't have any questions. No, all right. So thank you so much, Rivu, and see you again on Thursday. What happened? <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.